Hey, what's up guys? So my name is Telmo and um, yeah, this is my first video. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how did I become a front-end web developer. Yeah, I'm just going to try to document it <laughs> just for future reference. So um, <clears throat> I, I studied on university um, civil engineering and um, while, while I was studying it, I realized that um, it, was a lot, it was not like really my passion. And um, I was on it. I was on it uh, because, um, yeah, <laughs> this is something like really stupid. It's like, I, I went on civil engineering because um, I really like maths and physics. And also, this this is like really a really stupid um, reason to join is because I thought I was going to get a lot of money. This is like one of the worst mistakes that uh, someone can make, like try to go for something just because of the money. And uh, yeah, so I studied civil engineering and I finished a master degree on it. And I thought, okay, um, I'm going to study this and uh, I'm going to finish. I'm going to have a job straight away. And uh, yeah, it's <laughs> basically this is what everybody does. But this, this is not what happened. So basically what happened was... Um, when I got into the university, civil engineering was like in high demand in Portugal, where I'm from. And people, when they were finishing, they um, they would get the job straight away and a really good salary. And when I finished, Portugal was in a huge financial crisis. So yeah, <laughs> there was there was no job for me and no salary. And um, yeah, I just wasted their eight years of my life that let's eight or seven seven years of my life that's how long it took me to finish the master degree i, I wouldn't say it was like really wasted time because um i met a lot of uh, new people and i made some really good friends and I had uh, really great experiences. I, I did Erasmus, that is like studying in a different country for a year. So, yeah. And, and the funny thing is, um, I, I, I was before, before going into the university, I, um, I really enjoy to draw a lot and kind of things like design and stuff. But I never really went like on it like to study this kind of subject because everybody was saying like oh don't don't go for it because uh, there is no money on it just go for um civil engineering and i, I also i also um liked a lot of uh, tech stuff i was really into computers and building my own computer and stuff and um yeah, I, I remember. I remember. I was. I was thinking. Mm, maybe I, I should go something like informatics, like something tech, or or I'd, I should go for something like design. But I, I I would have like everyone, like family and friends, telling me like, no, 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 don't don't go, don't 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 go to this kind of area because it's like too saturated and you are not going to make any kind of money. So I'm going to make a video on this like later on. It's like. Uh, why you should not listen to other people's opinion and just like stick with what you think is the best for yourself because I, I learned I learned this the hard way and yeah so getting back to point so um, I started civil engineering and um, I finished my degree I didn't have a job like I was um, expecting to have and a good salary or whatever and that that's when I um, I had some uh, family living in London and they um, they gave me an opportunity to um, to have a job in there and um, not, not not in civil engineering it was like I had a cousin that he was um, working in a kind of fast food 
area in a company called Preta Manje. Maybe you guys know. And um, yeah, so I started. I moved to London. I started to work in this company, um, Preta Manje. That is like uh, making uh, sandwiches and uh, all doing coffee. Yeah. And um, the my main objective was like. Uh, <coughs> I would be working there, earn some money for myself so I could pay my rent, food, so I, I could be independent. And meanwhile, I, I should go and look for, um, for a job in uh, civil engineering. Uh, but the thing is, it um, well, <laughs> was not really easy because in UK it's like completely different than Portugal. In here, you are expected to have a lot of um, experience, which I didn't have. I just uh, graduated and... Um, yeah, so... Um, I was sending CVs. I was sending CVs out, which I never got an um, a answer or reply back or whatever. I don't know if it was because my English was like, like bad or... Um, or I don't know, uh, maybe my CV was not like on point. But yeah, um, so I was just like getting really demotivated because um, the time was just passing by. It was like after a year that I was in London, nothing happened. And um, that, that's when, that's when I... Um, when I started to do like on my part-time, like uh, I found this website called... Um, Treehouse, and I started to learn about web design. I was, uh, I, yeah, I was, um, I was doing this like as a hobby. Uh, learn how that uh, was something that I really wanted to do, like build my own website for whatever. Uh, and um, yeah, uh, I started to to learn web design on this uh, website called uh, Treehouse. And slowly, 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 I was just learning a bit in here, a bit in there. And, and that's when somehow I found out that uh, I could I could have a job uh, in um, web design or web development and it was paying quite well and they didn't require like um, kind of a, a degree or something so that's something that really uh, surprised me so uh, yeah, just uh, this this was like in 2015 when I started this, and uh, yeah, so I just started to learn, learn. I started with um, HTML, CSS, and then a little bit of um, JavaScript, and um, yeah, so I I just kept I just kept um, learning. But one thing that was really a mistake was like. Uh, I I was all the time like going back to to the start and just start to learn and I I, I was never in the point where I where I was feeling like okay I have enough knowledge to um, to apply for a job but one time I uh, I found somewhere online some forums where people they were saying that they didn't have any kind of um, experience or whatever and they didn't know too much and they were just applying to jobs and they were actually um, getting jobs you know without too much experience that's when that's when I um, that's why I, I, I decided okay from this moment on this was like in um, 2016 almost two years after when I started to learn which was a big mistake uh, I set up my CV saying that I was having um, I was having experience in web design, and web development. I knew HTML, CSS. Uh, I built my own website. This is like important, and I put my LinkedIn, my LinkedIn profile up to date with these kind of things. And I I was saying that I was um, looking for a job. So that, that I was really surprised because I I started to get contact by um, companies. And uh, finally, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
almost in the end of 2016, uh, I when I actually did this, that put my CV online and everything, I started to get contact and I, I and I got hired. So uh, <laughs> for all of you out there that um, you think that you would like to get in this kind of field and you don't have any kind of degree, I, I was in exactly that kind of situation. So uh, I just want to tell you guys that this is possible if you guys really want to do this. And yeah, you, you just have to keep learning and you have to do something because sometimes uh, we are just thinking about, oh, I would like to do this or I would like to change my career or whatever, but we don't actually do anything. So uh, yeah, <laughs> this is how I became a front-end web developer and this is my first video. So I will do some tutorials as well in this uh, channel I still don't know what's going to be to what's going to be the name of this channel but I'm gonna do some tutorials on HTML CSS and JavaScript I hope my story will kind of be uh, inspirational to you so you can uh, also get into this kind of field all right guys I hope you like this video if you really like it give me a thumbs up subscribe and I will be posting more videos soon Take care and see you in the next video.